Conference USA and the NBA. What a combination. The only better combo I could think of is Brian Power and Mark Zinno on the morning wager. And look at your screen. There we go. There you have it. Welcome to Wednesday. We are 46 and 29 as the official run as we do that housekeeping. Oh. Uh, I wanted to say that. Uh, the good we news is, Mark, I actually, we, we, yeah, we have, but, but the good news is I did win my half of the double play finally yesterday. That was very needed on my end. Uh, yeah, you, on you, the other you, hand, I mean, the hell out of me. you have been so good with these your halves of the double plays yesterday aside. I think you're going to get back on track because you're quite frankly one of the smartest men uh, in the United States of America. And uh, <laughs> another effusive, cross sport. Effusive praise. Yes. Effusive praise. Another, cro- another cross sport double play, NBA and college football. You're going to handle the NBA, your neck of the woods, your Atlanta Hawks. They're not your Atlanta yes, Hawks, no. let's be honest. But <laughs> you're going to talk about the Atlanta Hawks playing the Brooklyn Nets because America needs to hear about this game. Uh, here on the show today. Okay, so it's the opening night here in Atlanta, and I'm sure that there will be dozens of people attending the game, and most of them will be sitting in the concourse, not in their seats at tip-off, because it's Atlanta. Uh, beyond that, uh, I want to look at the total here and go over 222 and a half. Why? Because, well, guess what? The Atlanta Hawks traded Jonte Murray in the offseason. The numbers told us last year that the Hawks were an infinitely better team defensively with mm-hmm. Trey Young off the court, and Deontay Murray on the court. Well, they just got rid of one of their better defenders, so that leads me to believe that they are not going to be as sharp on defense, okay? Um, Trey Young and the offense will score. They added, obviously, the number one pick, Zachary Richeche. Uh, That's not the way you spell Zachary. You should not spell it that way. It's a dumb way to spell it, and I do not support that. I know he's French. French are also not some of my favorite people, so there's that. Um, But He's a 3 and D guy. He'll play a lot more offense than he will defense because the Hawks' defensive philosophy pretty much is don't do it. And that's not a defensive philosophy that I would stand behind. The Brooklyn Nets are also a team that doesn't really have a ton of defense, and they may be bad this year. But this is still a roster with players that I think can provide some offense. They're led by Cam Thomas. We know that he can score. Uh, They have Dorian Finney-Smith. Dennis Schroeder added into the mix. Bogey Bogdanovich now to hit the threes. So Cam Johnson is there as well. I, I don't see how this stays under. I think when we see these totals in the beginning of the year, they're all depressed totals and the numbers get down. If this game, when they play each other again, this game will be in the 230s. When they play each other later in the year, when we get to December and January and they play each other again, this total would be in the 230s. Typically, scoring is down in the beginning of the year, but the Atlanta Hawks are home. And it's Trey Young, and they score a lot more at home. They give up a lot more at home. That's enough for me here to look at this low number at 222 and a half and take the over, BP. Yeah, Brooklyn's a bad team that's going to play 100 miles an hour this year. So they're probably going to be an over team, and this is going to be one of their lower totals of the year. I agree with that. Smash that like button if you agree. I had a fun time in France about six years ago. Wife and I, we took uh, our seven-month-old on a wine tour. As a matter of fact, they eat very late, though, in France. Dinner, pro tip. Just well, they do that in Italy as well. Over there. It, it, that's, yes. that's must the, be a European the, thing. Yes, it is. Yes. You have a late there lunch and go. a later dinner. Yeah, I was. Uh, well, there we go. I was drinking all day. Anyway, Middle Tennessee and Jacksonville State. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is a game have, where, uh, where I think we need to be drinking. But they have any, there any were version no rally burgers in France. No, there was no rally burgers in France. Uh, they don't have Middle Tennessee or Jacksonville State in France either because it's no. Conference USA. Uh, did you see Conference USA's offerings last night? There was not a lot of scoring. Oh, God. I think that changes in this game. Jacksonville State, their team total, 41 and a half, minus 120 at DraftKings. That seems like a lot of points, you know, until you realize in their last three games, Jacksonville State has scored 44, 63, and 54. Middle Tennessee's defense is hideous. 127th in yards per play allowed. Uh, they allow 6.9 yards per play against FBS competition. So the number uh, obviously goes up when you uh, uh, get rid of the FCS team they played. And then the Jacksonville State offense, okay, they're top 15 in the country in yards per play. They're going to move the ball. Well, a few weeks ago, you, I, and our good buddy, uh, Keith Bayou bets Landry. We bet Jacksonville State's team total over, and it flew over. 
it's going to happen again. I, I, I kind of like the over in this game, but my thought process is, it ain't getting over without Jacksonville State doing the heavy lifting. So let's go over the team total for Rich Rod's Gamecocks on Wednesday night. Conference USA action. Smash that like button if you agree with that. A little cross-sport action. Well, expecting a lot of points, both of us in different sports. You with the over Hawks Nets, me with Jacksonville State team total. So there you go. Your thoughts? Very, nice. Very well done. Um, it's fun betting on Jacksonville State. I've done it before. Yes, there we go. Uh, you know what else is fun? Yeah. Filling your cart on Wednesday. Today uh, is Fill yeah. Your Cart Wednesday at wagertalk.com. That means you can save 20% on any daily package, a one-day all-access, a three-day all-access, a seven-day all-access, a 30-day all-access, a 90-day all-access, a full year. Save 20%. Is You could do it, both Zinno and myself, anyone else you'd like as well. Just head on over to our pages. You see the uh, addresses right there on the screen. I'm going to be making my Saturday college football all access available uh, later today, Mark. So mm-hmm. the play, my $5 play, which was available yesterday, I've got another play I'm going to add to the package as well momentary, it, it, as soon as we're done with the show. You can save 20% on that package, and you get anything else I add for the weekend as well. So uh, WT.buzz slash BP. What do you got going, man? Not much. I mean, you know, we had a we had a lovely five dollar play yesterday. Uh, we'll have something up for tonight. Maybe college football. Maybe the NBA. I, I'm not really this good self promoter that you are. You know what's good about WT. Oh. Buzz slash MZ? That fine face. Well, yeah, that was the real, really what I was going to go with is is that. But uh, it's fill your cart Wednesday, so we'll have a play up. Um, we're already going to start to look to the World Series. Uh, maybe that'll be what we'll do. Uh, for oh. for our opener here, just because you know, if I do it now, that means I don't have to worry about it at the end of the week. So we have the lines out, we have the 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 the, the starters for game one. Um, but yeah, we can we can start to work towards that as well. The Dodgers are playing somebody in that World Series, right? I forget. I think they are. I think they are not okay. the Guardians. We'll, we'll t- they <laughs> they're, no, they're not playing the Guardians. Juan Soto hit a home run, hit me right in the chest. All right, we'll talk about the World Series in a second. Let's get to today's best bet, though, first, because it's in college football. Uh, There are two Conference USA games, as there were yesterday. I just gave you a play on Jacksonville State. We are in agreement, though. I guess you've been hanging out with me for too long, Mark, because you're in agreement with me that Kennesaw State plus the points is the way to go against Liberty. Kennesaw State's the worst team in the country. They average 13 points a game. That's not very good. But you know what? This astounded me. I talked about it on today's Power 5. Liberty has played one game in the last 32 days. How does that happen? They had a cancellation because of the hurricane against App State. But that's insane. And the game was 15 days ago. They're getting 15-day breaks. I think they come out slow, and that's going to allow Kennesaw State to stay within the number. Liberty's not won a game by more than 18 all season, Mark. And this number is 25 and a half. I mean, look, here's the thing you need to remember about, like, Liberty. And, you know, they haven't played a schedule worth a darn, Um, you know. And they've gotten sort of the dregs of their conference already. I mean, they played Campbell, um, UTEP, um, you know, ECU is not a, a, a having a good year. New Mexico State, we know, is really bad. So they haven't really had to have a, a conversation with a team that is very good. And I'm not saying Kennesaw State is very good. However, they're bad. Um, yeah, they are bad. But asking Kennesaw State to keep this close um, to me feels manageable at this point in time, uh, especially given the rust that I think Liberty will play with. And really, the whole thing is is key. I mean, you know, we talk all the time about cutting games in half. You know, it's like one of those things where. If they're not within two touchdowns at halftime, well, then we, we, we're probably going to be in trouble. Um, that, that's, that's just the reality of the whole thing. But um, hopefully that's what Kennesaw State can do. Uh, as a younger program, they're still trying to figure out their way, but also could look to the first half plus 14. I would rather have a 14 and a half, to be honest with you. But nonetheless, I think the rest for Liberty and the lack of action will have them a little bit rusty early on. And that's enough to take this near four touchdown number and put it in our back pocket. 
only one loss by more than 24 points this year for Kennesaw State, as bad as that was this year after are, are Jacksonville State. It was. Um, by the way, that game you mentioned against ECU that uh, Liberty won, they were down 17 nothing in that game. Yeah. So, you know, th- th- that's – and, like, East Carolina just fired its coach, obviously. Is this a fair thing to say? Nobody wants Liberty to have the group of five spot. No one. They got killed by no. Oregon in the bowl last year. No one wants Liberty. No, People, no. They have, even, I, I barely even want Boise. Go, even if they go undefeated, Liberty, they're not getting it this year. Why don't you want Boise? Because I'm not a big What's fan of either. Because I, I just I, – I think they I, – I, I don't I, – you know, Ruby Ridge still sticking in your craw or what? The, yeah, yeah, that was a that was a doozy back in the day. Uh, <laughs> Google it, kids. Uh, Ruby Ridge, Idaho. See what happened there, uh, and then you'll see what happened after that. Uh, you know, like a building got destroyed. Anyway, um, here's the real thing: like Kennesaw State, like if they get to 14, I feel really good about where we are because I don't That's know that Liberty correct. would get to 42. Yeah, and right. Liberty needed overtime to beat that FIU team that we watched last night. Great uniforms by FIU. They had the great gimmick uh, last night, but God, I watched all four quarters of that game because I had the under. Easy winner, 10-7. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, that's, um, that's, that's that really the key here. If Kennesaw State gets to 14, we should be good. I think the numbers tell us we should mm-hmm. be good. Okay, so comment down below with your favorite Conference USA bets for Wednesday. Comment down below with your favorite NBA bets. For Wednesday as well, we always like to see what you guys are betting on as well. We thank you for the support. We, I know Mark thanks you for uh, getting down with the five dollar play. We had we had a lot of people get both of us had a lot of you get down with that. In addition to Monday's show uh, being the most viewed edition of the Morning Wage Driver, so we really do appreciate that support. And I know Mark because oh, <laughs> I guess this is our RQ. I guess we're done. It is. All right. We'll talk about World Series later. Please, <laughs> Please subscribe to the Red YouTube channel. Uh.